central cooling system still use seawater to remove heat but instead of the seawater going directly into the individual heat exchanger and the seawater only calls one big centralized cooling loop and this is the air cooler system and cooled by press water and also the low oil system called by press water this is press water is the LT the low temperature cooling water this is good and the next one is the condenser of the boiler this is very good also this is a press water cooling system LT low temperature cooling system next um, this is the cooling this is the jacket this is for the evaporator system of the press water generator and okay and this is the bypass also and this is the jacket calling this is going to the farm and then going here to the bypass LT and ST then going to vapor pipe or the deaerating tank and also this is the generator LT calling system also there is the one the two and three and also the jacket calling system the exhaust valve okay now we have to clean this one this color this is very dirty already in three months so uh, we need to clean this one okay and uh, this is the fleet head exchanger cleaning with a fleet head exchanger heat cuts through the surface and separates the hot medium from the cold thus heating and cooling fluids and gases use minimal energy levels the theory of the heat exchanger Heat transfer between the medium and fluid happens when heat is always transferred from the hot medium to the cold medium. The advantage of the plate heat exchanger: number one, high efficiency; and number two, multiple duties and single unit; number three, easy to clean and remove; number four, close up road temperature; number five, this is a low cost; number six higher initial cost number seven difficult to find leakages number eight limited operating temperature uh, this is this split exchanger the usually the symptoms the first three symptoms are usually caused by plate falling whereas the last one is the cause by gasket failure however any of the four can be caused by gasket failure or the rare event of plate cracks so it's critical to take some basic procedures to figure it out. Uh, when gasket failure is the easiest thing to spot, if the gasket fails, the pressure will drive through fluid to the leg, and you'll see the fluid dripping from the your plate head exchanger. You'll be able to easily detect the failure since the fluid will seep from the faulty gasket. Disassemble your plate head exchanger and remove the plate with the falling gasket as well as the plate adjustments to it then if you have a new parts of on hand just replace them reassemble and tighten your plate head exchanger to a specification before returning it to the surface if you don't have the replacement components on hand can wait for them to arrive so so you may simply close your plate exchanger and put it back into the service while you wait and loss of two and you have to loss of two plates take it out and yeah and let an influence of the performance however however with the two paper plates be sure you know how much tighten the plate ex heat exchanger okay this information should be in your manual or available from the manufacturer
the bit head exchanger you can perform this kind of maintenance at least once every three to six months it depends upon the uh, performance <clears throat> as mentioned above regular visual examination are important make sure the plate fuck is tightened to a specification the carrying and tight bars are lubricated and just get up here and damage Thank you very much for watching this kind of vlog. Please don't forget to subscribe. Marine Engineer Works. Thank you.